In two days since the shooting at the Franklin Park Mall involving a 16-year-old boy, it's left Toledoans with a lot of questions, including how did a teen have access to the gun? Claire Mitchell joining us live after talking with Toledo Police today. She's standing outside Dick's Sporting Goods, the Franklin Park Mall. Claire? Lee, that's right. Officials that I spoke with today said that they are seeing teens with guns in the area, but where they're getting those guns, that answer isn't so clear. A gunshot. Sending people into panic, running for their lives every which way. At that point, um, an officer saw a juvenile jump a wall, which you can see in that body cam, holding his waistband, which is a common um, thing people do when they're carrying a gun in their waistband. So he tried to stop him. He fled through dicks out in the parking lot which they eventually found him uh, hiding behind a, in, inside of a dumpster uh, behind a business. Toledo Police Public Information Officer Lieutenant Paul Davis explaining the police response Tuesday night. Investigators say a 15-year-old girl is recovering from her injuries and a 16-year-old is charged in connection to the incident. But it begs the question, how easy is it for teens to get their hands on a firearm? So we are uh, encountering teens on a regular basis who are carrying firearms on them, yes. Could be through burglaries, could be through breaking into people's vehicles and stealing guns out of those, or people could be buying them for them or selling it to them on the street. Parents now asking, how do I protect my child from being the victim or being the one holding the gun? You need to be involved in your child's life. You need to be involved in what's going on with them and their friends, know who their friends are. Lieutenant Davis says as of December 18th, 207 people have been shot in Toledo this year, which is down from 293 in 2022. And Lieutenant Davis went on to say that the department acted accordingly Tuesday night and looking ahead to the new year, the department is working to decrease the number of non-fatal shootings in the area. Lee.